On this Fishing Tales episode, I go back to the winter of 2012, when I had a great time catching lots of decent perch on a variety of venues. On this particular session, I was filming a DVD for the Obsessed Angler series, and apart from using small clips of the day's filming, I have never used the filming in much detail for my YouTube channel until now. I'm fishing at Framfield near Uckfield in East Sussex. It is the month of February 2012. I hope you enjoy this Winter Tales episode, which for me is a trip down memory lane on a venue I used to love fishing for the perch in winter time. Today I'm at Framfield Fishery for the latest part of the Obsessed Angler series and today's target is going to be the old stripe's perch. Now Framfield Park Fishery is known, especially with match anglers, for its big, big bags of carp in the summer matches and I think Chris, the fishery owner, was telling me not so long ago that the five hour record is 444 pounds. But every now and then you do get a, a perch turns up and some of them are quite big and in one particular match a species of four pounds four so it'd be nice if we could get something near that but there's lots and lots of twos and threes and if I can get a few of them today then I'm going to be well pleased. Now I've been putting in a little bit of time and effort into the fishery since Christmas. In January I come down and, and I've had a, a fair old share of perch sort of around a two to three pounds mark and if I can repeat that again today then I think it's going to be absolutely fantastic. So, fingers crossed. It's a little bit overcast, which is ideal. I think the water temperature, I'm going to put a water thermometer in soon, and I'll show you that a little bit later on. And, uh, I don't know, it looks good. I feel quite confident. I think that we're going to be in for, a, you know, a few fish. And, uh, you know, let's get cracking. Let's get going, and let's see what we can do. As you can see, I've got this little digital, digital thermometer there, and it's a nice gadget I always use in the winter time, not just for me perch fishing, but fishing in general, as I think it's very important to find out what the water temperature is, because it's important to how your, bite, your, well, your bites develop and how your day's gonna develop. And as you can see, it's reading, I don't know if you can see it clearly, but it's reading, it's just gone nine o'clock, and the water temperature is 6.5 degrees, which is it's quite a good temperature for the perch fishing. You know, because there's a lot of carp in there, I don't really want the water temperatures to be too high because the carp are being more active and looking for food more. So when it's sort of round about this temperature, and, and not so long ago, this lake was completely iced up. And, uh, and that, that will then sort of put the, put the carp off the feed completely, which will leave us alone to target the perch and 6.5 degrees, it'll probably move up and down a little bit because there's a bit of a slight breeze blowing on and off and what, what happens when the breeze starts to blow, it starts to move the water around and so the temperature, because obviously the certain parts of the lake, different layers of the lake are different temperatures, it'll move the water around and the temperature will actually go up and down and this little display unit here, they've got a sensor that goes off into the water, will let me know exactly what temperatures are going on in the water. So it's always a good 
a good indication and it does, has certainly helped me over the years catch some sort of bonus fish because I actually know what is going on, what the water temperatures are like and sometimes later in the day when it creeps up a bit you know, probably increase your chances of catching a, or getting a few more bites so it's always like to know what the water temperature is. While I'm waiting for the action to hot up let's have a look and see what baits I'm going to be using today. As you can see I'm going to be using a two rod waggler setup which I'll go through a bit later but these are the baits I'm going to be using big old lobworms probably going to be using sort of pieces of lobworms and that you see there got loads of lobworms with me today so we'll go through that a bit and also I'm going to be using prawns as well because perch absolutely love fishing you know eat, eating prawns and I, I like fishing with them I've got some cocktail prawns and also some slightly bigger ones and I might sort of chop some of them up or if not if, if the action really starts to hot up I might even put a hole a bigger one on as well and you can see I've got all this like sort of powder and like a bit of a juice well that's actually this stuff there it's a uh, it's the, from sticky baits it's called pure krill and it's absolutely brilliant and the perch love it and also other fish for, throughout the year as well so that's a, that's a nice one to use and as you can see there they sort of marinate the prawns in the juice and that and the powder as I mentioned earlier is this stuff there it's the again it's from sticky and it's a sort of a krill, a krill powder you can see there and again it sort of when you sort of flick it out into the water, bits sort of break off, gives off nice sort of scent and a nice attractant for the perch and another good one to use as well. So that's the baits. But I'll also be feeding over the top red maggots. I always bring a couple of pints of red maggots with me. And the reason why is I don't actually, sometimes I might tip a lobworm or a piece of prawn with a, with a red maggot as well, just to sort of give that little bit of movement as well and the perch are always on the lookout for any bit of movement as well and also by, you see me sort of introducing, flicking out a few a few maggots as well and that's to attract silverfish into the peg, like smaller roach and little skimmers and that because we all know that, that perch like chasing around small roach and skimmers as well so by attracting them also into me peg it will attract obviously the perch as well so that's quite a good tip to use use maggots as not obviously to, to sort of put on the hook but to attract smaller fish into the peg which will then in turn attract the perch into your feeding area as well and I'm sure when they'll see a lobworm or a nice prawn there waiting for them then I know what they'll probably want to go for so that's the plan a nice slow bite there, as I've just shown you the thermometer there, and I think we might be into our first first perch of the day. Let's have a look. Let's, it's just sort of hugging the bottom as they do. The float just slid away. Yeah, it's a nice perch there. That's a good start. I've only been fishing a little while. Let's get the landing net ready. And it's not a massive one, but it's a nice start. So Looks like the perch are already in town. Let's have a good close up look of him. Let's have a good close up look and uh, you see the worms there. There it goes. Probably pushing on round the power mark. Impressive fish, aren't they? They really are. Imagine there. Let's get his dorsal fin up. Wonderful creatures. And I've had them sort of three times the size of this, so let's hopefully a few of the bigger ones are there waiting for us. So, what a good start. Well, that was a good start. I've just, just turned around and it went, went away and boom, straight into it. And, uh, as you can see, it was a nice perch sort of around the power mark and just rebaited and a nice sort of piece of lobworm. We go straight back out and see if there's a bigger one waiting for us. And we float just shot under and I think 
don't think this is a perch. I think it's a it's a carp, but it's just tore off. And uh, if it is a perch, it's a big old boy. But I've got a feeling, unless I'm going to be pleasantly surprised. Oh, it is a perch. Look at the size of that. That is ginormous. That is ginormous. This is the one we want. This is, don't come off. Yes. <laughs> now that is what it's all about. I actually thought that that was a carp to start off with. I really did, but it just tore off out of it. Look at that, what a, what a cracking fish. I do get excited with these big old strifes, especially because that's what we're after today. That's what we want. And look at the size of this. A big old perch. Look at that. I did, I really thought it was a, a carp at first. It just tore off. Let's, let's unhook him. Let's have a close up look of him. Look at that, look at that. Oh dear. If you can bring the camera down there and see what is actually inside. He's got he's got lobworms, he's got prawns in there, he's been having a right old feast. And I think we've in I think we've interrupted his breakfast. <laughs> look at that. Big old stripey. Fantastic fish, aren't they? Absolutely marvellous. That's what it's all about. Unbelievable. There he goes. Up goes the dorsal fin. What a cracker. Absolute cracker. And like I say, stuffed inside his mouth is all of my bait. Wonderful. That's it. Into another fish here. I was just about to put... Let's get that out of the way. Put that rod to one side. I was just about to put some more chop worm out there. Now this is not doing much, so it's either a massive, massive perch or it, Mr. Carp has turned up. Let's have a look. I've got a feel, oh I don't know, I don't want to. Is it a carp or is it a perch? I don't want to say at the minute. It's not doing much, it's just it's just hugging the bottom, or it's sort of hugging midway, so I couldn't actually see there what it was. It came up but the sun's reflecting on the water there and I couldn't actually see what it was. Again I was a little bit It's a perch, it is a perch, it is an absolute monster. I thought I lost a good perch earlier and this this is a proper fish. Please do not come off. Oh it's a big big fish. I was convinced so convinced earlier that I'd lost a great big perch and uh, oh look at the size of this. What an absolute corker this is. He's trying to get under the bank side there and... Oh! What a stroke of luck. That was guys. Yeah, I know, it was hooked. Ah. Still, still rolling, by the way. Oh. oh! Oh! That's a bit more like it. I'm getting a right old state here. I've got my other float rod tangled round. Now, I had a bit of luck there, I must admit, because as I hooked the fish, you probably see I pulled out of it. But that's, 
Absolute corker of a fish that one. Well my suspicions were right earlier on. I did lose a big perch and look at the size of that one. It's probably the biggest perch today. They're getting bigger and bigger and uh, I'm going to weigh this one, it's probably, this must be well over two pounds this one, maybe, maybe even sort of getting around about the three pound mark, it's an absolute clunker, and I still thought at one point it was a carp, you know, wow, let's wait, because I think there's more perch, I think there's more big perch down there, so, what a splendid fish, wonderful, well every time you go fishing, there's always a surprise that could turn up, and it's just happened just this minute. I've had a, a, a bite developing, it's finally gone under. And it's not a perch, it's a brightly coloured carp. Look, I think it's actually a shabunkin. Oh, look at that. I don't know, I've not even caught these in the summer down here, so. <laughs> That's an unusual fish for the day. It's amazing, it's amazing when you go fishing what you can catch. And he's had that on a great big piece of worm there. You can probably see that. Oh well, let's unhook him and pop this one back. Just unhooked him. And this is my fourth perch of the day over two pounds. So that's not bad fishing, is it, by anyone's standards? Absolutely wonderful. And I'm pretty sure there's a few more there for us. So there are quite a few perch now, probably about eight or nine, but four of them, the biggest two pound two pen nine and uh, wonderful fish aren't they absolutely wonderful I love catching them and I want to catch some more <laughs> let's put this one back look at that what an absolute corker of a fish it's a really productive really productive session that we've got sort of four or five perch over two pounds now and what I'm going to do is, I'm going to put a piece of prawn on to see if I can sort of tempt a bigger one to have a, have a good old munch because I'm convinced there's a three plus down there and so I'm going to put one of these cocktail prawns on and I'll show you a close up in a minute and I'm going to tip it, tip it with a red maggot as well. So there's the prawn, soaked in krill. What I, what I tend to do is pour a few prawns into the bait box and then I'll tip a bit of krill powder in and also some krill juice in there as well. So it sort of really marinates into it and then we're just placing the maggot on the end, just like so. You can see there, a nicely presented prawn tip with a red maggot. The tactics and baits I used back in 2012 are still very much how I like to target the perch to this very day. 
and I plan to do some 2024 fishing tail films perch filming very soon. There's probably the two best fish of the day. We've had plenty sort of round about that size as well. And before we send them on their way for another day, just say we'll see you again soon. And thanks for tuning in to the Obsessed Angler series. As I recall, it was a bitterly cold day, but I had a great day's perch fishing and I caught plenty with at least eight or nine fish over the two pounds mark and a couple touching the three. Thanks to Dave Phillips for coming out on the day to help me with the filming and uh, we certainly went through quite a bit of coffee on that day. It was very much needed. If you've enjoyed this Winter Tales episode, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you. Close is shot under, and I think, don't think this is a perch. I think it's a, it's a carp. Like it's just tore off, and uh, if it is a perch, it's a big old boy. But I've got a feeling, unless I'm going to be pleasantly surprised. Oh, it is a perch. Look at the size of that. That is ginormous. That is ginormous. This is the one we want. This is. Don't come off. Yes. <laughs> now that is what it's all about. I actually thought that that was a carp to start off with.